Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. And today, before we begin with the official recipes for Feb, I just wanted to update my cream cheese frosting video. This is a new and updated, probably the best cream cheese frosting you will ever make because there is so much control that you get in this recipe. It is smooth. It is. beautifully stable it can stay out at room temperature for hours at end even in humid conditions i mean i live in mumbai and it's pretty much humid all year round and look how firm and stiff this frosting is it's perfect for filling cakes or piping on cupcakes or decorating on um, the top of your cake whatever it is that you want to do it is the perfect buttercream frosting and i'm so excited to share this recipe with you before we dive into the recipe i just very quickly wanted to talk to you about my online course just cheeky cheesecakes where i show you how you can learn to bake irresistibly unique cheese cheesecakes without eggs without water bath and without gelatin this course is for you even if you have never baked a cheesecake before and also if you don't get cream cheese in your area that's no problem because i have a video where i show you how to make your own cream cheese within 30 minutes so you are completely sorted Inside this course I teach you over 50 cheesecake recipes and there's three super juicy bonuses including an entire module dedicated just for savory cheesecakes. Oh yeah, we are going all out in this course. An even juicier brand new update is coming your way soon in the next couple of months and that will completely blow your mind. It's almost like a part 2 for this online course and it's going to transform your home baking business forever and you get all of this content for lifetime access at a price that you would normally pay for a 3 hour workshop isn't that an amazing deal and i would recommend that you grab it while the price still lasts because the prices will be going up soon There's over 30 students currently enrolled in this course and they are thoroughly loving it and they think that I am seriously undercharging for the value that they have received. The prices will be increasing soon once I launch the heavy duty update and so if you would like to make this year the one that grows your home baking business to the moon then enroll in the course right away. However, if you would like to get a little taster before you make this investment, download a free preview of the recipe ebook which is one of the bonuses in the course. All the links have been mentioned down in the description box below. I am so excited to welcome you to my course and now let's get back to the recipe. Now here first we are going to make a paste of our all purpose flour and milk. Now in my earlier video uh, I directly add the all purpose flour into the liquid mix in the saucepan. You can do that as well and this is just a second alternative just to uh, give you options. I would personally prefer putting the all purpose flour directly in the saucepan while the heat is off so that it doesn't lump Uh, so that it doesn't create any lumps but this is another way that you can do it add milk from the uh, recipes quantities that have been mentioned down in the description box below add a few tablespoons into this bowl containing the flour mix it and keep it aside now here i'm going to add the rest of the milk i'm going to add some fresh cream and now i'm also going to add some cream cheese everything is at room temperature and once i do this i'm going to turn the heat of the stove on and on a medium heat first i am going to mix this until the cream cheese starts to melt and it mixes with the milk and fresh cream it will get a bit lumpy do not be alarmed it's fine uh, as the heat um, increases inside this mix the cream cheese will melt as well so the lumpy bits will dissolve so there's nothing to worry once everything is well combined i am going to sweeten this up by adding some caster sugar There you go we've added our caster sugar and now I'm just going to mix this on a low heat until the sugar melts it's important to turn the heat down to low once the cream cheese has melted so that it doesn't overcook we still have to add the all purpose flour and then boil the mix so that it becomes nice and thick so once the sugar has dissolved I'm going to start adding that flour paste now as i mentioned earlier as well Uh, it's important to turn the heat off at this point whether you are making a paste and adding into this or adding the flour or the all purpose flour directly it's very important to turn the heat off 
mix this until it combines well with the rest of the ingredients once it is well combined and looks nice and smooth like this then you will turn the heat back on and you will keep it on medium so that it starts to boil and uh, you will time this for 3 minutes on your phone and you need to cook this for about 3 minutes it will start to get nice and bubbly 3 minutes is the time when the raw flowery taste will disappear and it will become nice and homogenous that's what you're looking for and keep stirring it so that it doesn't catch at the bottom i would advise that you use a non stick pan so that nothing sticks to the base of the saucepan and after about 3 minutes you'll see that it has gone so nice and thick which is exactly what we want uh, it's completely lump free at this point and now uh, we are just going to take this off the heat because what we want to do is we want to transfer this to a plate so that it cools down completely before we start making our buttercream frosting it's important that it is cooled down to room temperature if it is warm it will melt the butter and well the buttercream frosting is not going to work and you can already if you take a little bit of this pudding and taste it you'll taste that real distinct cream cheese flavor in this and when we add it into the butter it just transforms into the most amazing cream cheese frosting Now once I've transferred this into the plate I'm just going to let this sit at room temperature or you could pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes Now here I have some room temperature salted butter if you're using unsalted butter then don't forget to add a pinch of salt once your frosting is being made Uh, I love the touch of salted butter in this because it adds a unique flavor to your cream cheese frosting and well I've always used um salted butter in my recipes for 3 minutes you're going to whip this on medium speed it will go nice and pale about 1 and 1/2 minutes later you're just going to use a spatula go along the sides and the bottom of the bowl so that the butter is mixed well again it goes on for a minute and a half so for a total of 3 minutes it will go nice and light pale smooth and fluffy that is what you are looking for and then as we do for the uh, boiled milk buttercream frosting which we have made several times on this channel uh, we'll start adding this cool down pudding mix in tiny installments and keep mixing on a medium speed until it is well combined so once that installment of the pudding mix is well mixed in the butter we'll add some more and we'll keep doing this and keep adding this until all of the pudding mix has been used up now the idea for this method of cream cheese frosting came to me when i was making my cream cheese fudge frosting and i just realized that it adds a beautiful cream cheese flavor so why not make the pudding by melting the cream cheese first instead of adding the cream cheese later which is what we had done in the original uh, cream cheese frosting recipe so this is my 2022 updated version also make sure that you are constantly scraping the sides and the bottom of the bowl So after you've added all of the pudding mix you will mix this for about 2 to 3 minutes on a medium speed until it becomes nice and smooth and stable and it just becomes silky smooth like a buttercream frosting that's the uh, texture and consistency that you are going after and well as you can see our cream cheese frosting is ready now how do you use this well like you use any other buttercream frosting the best part about this is uh, you get to control the amount of sugar that you use it is super stable i mean look at that uh, i'll be using this cream cheese frosting to make this beautiful red velvet cake for valentines day it's amazing it is stable it stays stable for hours at room temperature which is not the case with normal cream cheese frosting if you know what i mean so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again next time until then goodbye and happy baking